Hey everyone, my name is Sarah Stimson and I'm a fitness and sports instructor here in Edmonton. I want to bring you guys a series called the Broomstick Olympic Lifting Series. So what it is is exactly what it sounds like. We're going to be using a broomstick because most of us don't have a barbell at home uh, just to work on the foundations and the fundamentals to Olympic lifting. So if you're unfamiliar with what that is, that includes the snatch and the clean and jerk. So just the two basic lifts. Um, I say basic, but they're actually quite technical. So if you've tried to teach yourself before or you've watched it done before, um, watch other people do it before, um, you've probably seen that it is a little bit harder than you might think. So we're going to break it all down. We're going to start by talking about the hook grip. So the basic grip around the bar, which if you have used it before and if you've done any of my classes and I've been yelling at you to use it, um, you're probably rolling your eyes right now. But it is a very important part to the Olympic lifts. Secondly, we're going to talk about the snatch. We're going to break it down into both the power position, if you're familiar with more like the tack athlete terms, um, power and the squat position, as well as the clean. And then we're going to break the jerk as well into both a push jerk and a split jerk. So that's kind of an overview of what this series is about. If you have any questions along the way, definitely feel free to send us a message, add it to the comments, um, and I would be happy to help out as best I can. And if we need to do some extra videos, we definitely can as well. So. All right, so today we're going to talk about the um, grip used for Olympic lifting. So this grip is called the hook grip. So we're going to talk about what it is, how to use it, and why we use it. So first off, what is it? It looks like this. Um, how we actually do it is you place your kind of the fleshier part of your hand nice and snug to the bar. You're going to wrap your thumb around, peace sign with these two fingers, gets wrapped around the thumb. If you're pressing right on your thumbnail, that's where it's going to feel like it's going to fall off. So try to avoid that if you can. So if you can kind of grab a little bit lower down, that'd be great. Otherwise, you can also tape your thumb. That helps as well. So from here, peace sign around your thumb, other two fingers, just hang out on the bar. Pull up. You can feel that it's pretty secure. Excellent. So that's what we want. So why do we use it? Exactly for that security reason. We don't want the bar falling away from us. We don't want to be chasing the bar. Um, and we don't want it to slip away from us either. So aside from that, another reason that we would use it is that it actually helps kind of eliminate that tension that's created um, by just using a suicide grip or whatever you want to call it. Um, when you're holding it like this, you have to really squeeze and put a lot of tension into the bar, which is going to hinder your lift in a number of ways. Um, and it also could create a little bit more tension in your elbow. So if you've been noticing elbow pain and you don't use the hook grip, maybe try using the hook grip and maybe that could help. So um, those are a couple of the reasons why we use it. And that's going to be your basic grip here that you're going to use every time we're doing any of the lifts, including with just the broomstick. Hey guys. All right. So today we're going to go through what the snatch is, what it looks like, and then we're going to break it apart into its kind of sequences. So. I'm going to give you a demo from the front and the side on what it is that we're working towards and then we'll break it down. So what it looks like from the front and from the side. Good. So we're going to break it into a couple pieces. We're going to start actually from kind of the end position and work our way to the start and then we'll Put it all together. So first off, the overhead squat, which is basically your end position, is not a very stable position. If you've never done it before, it's going to feel really awkward. So we're going to start by figuring out the placement of our hands. So with your broomstick, it might be a little bit too short for you if you have um, a longer arm span than I do. But ideally, if you put the bar in your hip crease, and extend your arms out until they're fully extended, that would be where you grip the bar. Um, again, if that would, doesn't exist on your a bar, just bring your hands in for today. Um, but just know that when you do go to a barbell, that's the position that you want. Another way to test it out would be just to do um, a slide test. So basically, if I'm too narrow, when I lift my knee up, the bar creeps down, which is not what we want. Um, if I am wide enough and it's right in my hip crease, when I lift my knee up, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's the point of contact for when I'm pulling up. So that's kind of ideally where we want it. And then again, with that hook grip that we talked about the other day. So from here, we're going to go into that overhead position. 
So from here, hook grip on the bar, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna call them your uh, elbow pits, not the correct term, but you get the point. So you're gonna push them up towards the sky and lock out your arms. So it's really stable here. So if I was to come down and push on your bar, it wouldn't go anywhere. You're pushing up into it, perfect. Okay, so from here, set your feet up for a squat. So feet just outside of hips, toes pointing slightly out. And then from here, just like you would for a typical squat, send your hips back and lower down into a full squat and stand it back up. Good. So try out a couple of those, pushing into the bar. Awesome. Okay. So now we're going to go from the hang position. So again, hook gripping on the bar, you're going to have the bar in your hip crease. So from here, we're just going to dip our knees and we're going to shrug. So dip, shrug. A couple of those, keeping a really tall torso. Good. Then we're going to add the high pull. So we're going to dip, shrug, high pull. Dip, shrug, high pull. So getting the elbows nice and tall. On the side, dip, shrug, high pull. A little bit faster. Dip, shrug, high pull. Good. So I don't want your elbows coming down. I'd rather them come up and like right on top of the bar. Good. So from here, we're just going to add the turnaround. So dip, shrug, high pull, turn over. So dip, shrug, <laughs> shrug, high pull, turn over. And again, dip, shrug, high pull, turn over, lock out. Good. We're going to go a little bit faster. Dip, shrug, high pull, turn over. I can't even say that fast. All right, from the side. Good. Awesome. All right, from here, we're going to use a little bit more of a slack. So you're going to bring the bar down to just above your knees. So again, from here, my back should be nice and straight, hook gripping on the bar. From here, I'm gonna stand it up, shrug, high pull, turn over, and stand. And again, throw the knees, shrug, high pull, turn over, and stand. Good. So we're gonna do that same thing, and this time we're gonna catch it in a full squat. So again, if you're not used to an overhead squat position, it might feel a little bit unbalanced. The nice thing is the broomstick doesn't weigh too much, so it should be okay. So again, from above the knees, shrug high pull, catching in a full squat. And stand. And again. Good. Awesome. All right, then we're gonna take it. Hey guys. All right, so today we're gonna go through what the snatch is, what it looks like, and then we're gonna break it apart into its kind of sequences. So I'm gonna give you a demo from the front and the side on what it is that we're working towards and then we'll break it down. So, what it looks like from the front, and from the side. Good. So, we're gonna break it into a couple pieces. We're gonna start actually from kind of the end position and work our way to the start and then we'll put it all together. So, first off, the overhead squat, which is basically your end position, is not a very stable position. If you've never done it before, it's going to feel really awkward. So we're going to start by figuring out the placement of our hands. So with your broomstick, it might be a little bit too short for you if you have um, a longer arm span than I do. But ideally, if you put the bar in your hip crease and extend your arms out until they're fully extended, that would be where you grip the bar. Um, again, if that would, doesn't exist on your uh, bar, just bring your hands in for today. Um, but just know that when you do go to a barbell, that's the position that you want. Another way to test it out would be just to do um, a slide test. So basically, if I'm too narrow, when I lift my knee up, the bar creeps down, which is not what we want. Um, if I am wide enough and it's right in my hip crease, when I lift my knee up, it doesn't go anywhere. So that's the point of contact for when I'm pulling up. So that's kind of ideally where we want it. And then again, with that hook grip that we talked about the other day. So from here, we're gonna go into that overhead position. So from here, hook grip on the bar, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna call them your uh, elbow pits, not the correct term, but you get the point. So you're gonna push them up towards the sky and lock out your arms. So it's really stable here. So if I was to come down and push on your bar, it wouldn't go anywhere. You're pushing up into it. Perfect. Okay. So from here, 
set your feet up for a squat so feet just outside of hips toes pointing slightly out and then from here just like you would for a typical squat send your hips back and lower down into a full squat and stand it back up good so try out a couple of those pushing into the bar awesome okay so now we're gonna go from the hang position so again hook everything on the bar you're gonna have the bar in your hip crease so from here we're just gonna dip our knees and we're gonna shrug so dip shrug a couple of those keeping a really tall torso good then we're gonna add the high pull so we're gonna dip shrug high pull dip shrug high pull so getting the elbows nice and tall inside dip shrug high pull a little bit faster dip shrug high pull good so I don't want your elbows coming down I'd rather them come up and like right on top of the bar okay so from here we're just gonna add the turnaround so dip shrug high pull turn over so dip shrug <laughs> shrug high pull turn over and again dip shrug high pull turn over lock out good we're gonna go a little bit faster dip shrug high pull turn over I can't even say that fast all right from the side All right, from here, we're gonna use a little bit more of a slide. So you're gonna bring the bar down to just above your knees. So again, from here, my back should be nice and straight, hook gripping on the bar. From here, I'm gonna stand it up, shrug, high pull, turn over, and stand. And again, from above the knees, shrug, high pull, turn over, and stand. Good. So we're gonna do that same thing, and this time we're gonna catch it in a full squat. So again, if you're not used to an overhead squat position, it might feel a little bit unbalanced. The nice thing is the broomstick doesn't weigh too much, so it should be okay. So again, from above the knees, shrug high pull, catching in a full squat. And stand. And again. Good. Awesome. All right, then we're gonna take it right from the bottom. So from this position, it'll be on mid shin, if you were to pretend that you had weights on so you'll be touching the ground so from here mid shin keeping my back nice and straight i'm going to keep the bar nice and close to my shins as i pull up and then i'm going to scoop through once i get past my knees shrug high pull catch it in a full squat so a little bit faster good so that is the full snatch so you can play around with it from the different hang positions uh, practice your overhead squat. All right, welcome back. And today we're going to talk about the clean. So we've gone through the snatch, we've gone through your hook grip, um, and now we're going to go through what the clean looks like. So basically for your grip on the bar, it's a lot narrower than your snatch grip is. So I go from about my hips, thumb distance away, and then I go right into my hook grip so thumb gets wrapped around by my fingers. So that's gonna be where my hands are. I'm gonna show you what a clean looks like from the front and then from the side, and then we will break it just like we kind of did for the snatch. All right, so from the front. And from the side. Good. So the end positions you can tell are completely different. The snatch you end overhead the clean you end up in that front squat position so the front squat is going to be a little bit challenging just to get your elbows up nice and high with a broomstick um it will be a little bit easier when you do have a barbell or you add some weight so just keep that in mind um but we're going to start with that end position so you start in a hook grip but when you catch it you're probably going to catch it on your fingertips which is totally fine so it's going to allow you to get your elbows up fairly high so ideally if you can keep it nice and high the bar is going to stay on our collarbone with the broomstick. It might not. You might have to tuck it underneath your chin. That's okay for today. So we're going to start in this position. So the bar is on your fingertips. Feet are hip, just outside of hip width, toes pointing out like you would for a squat. And you're just, just normally front squat. So that's going to go back and down and stand it back up. So a couple of these. Good. So that's our end position. So how we get there, we're going to break it apart again. So you're going to go into that hook grip, thumbs just outside of hips, good, 
So from here, you're gonna have your shoulders roll down and back. We're gonna do the same thing as we did with the snatch. So we're gonna dip, shrug, turn over. Shrug, high pull, turn over. All right, so you're gonna dip, shrug. And again, dip, shrug. This time we're gonna add that high pull. So keeping the bar nice and close to our body the whole time. So dip, shrug, high pull, good. And then we're gonna add that turnover. So this time, instead of turning over, we're dropping under. So shrug, high pull, turn over. So again, dip, shrug, high pull, turn over, keeping your elbows nice and high and standing it up. Again, from above the knees. So a hang position, again, your hook grip. From here, shrug, high pull, turn over, and stand. So that's a power position. So power is catching it anywhere above 90 degrees. We're gonna get you in a full squat. So again, from the front, so above the knees, that hang position, shrug, high pull, catching in a full squat, stand it up. From the side, keeping my back nice and straight, shoulder roll down and back, shrug, high pull, catching in a full squat, and stand. Then lastly, we'll just take it from mid shins, which is essentially the bottom position. So from here, um, thumbs just outside of my shins. Good. From here, shrug, high pull, catching a full squat. Good. So again, keeping the bar nice and close, scoop through, catching a full squat, and stand. You might also notice my feet, so this happened in this snatch as well. So they start out fairly narrow, or like about hip width. And I'm going to widen them so I can catch it in my squat position. So from here, I jump and land and stand. From the side, jump and land, stand. Good. So that is the clean. So welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the jerk. So second part of the clean and jerk, this is a jerk. So we went through the clean and now we're going to go through uh, the two different kind of ways that you can do a jerk. So we're going to talk about the push jerk and the split jerk. So I'll just end with the push jerk first. So from the front, what it looks like. From the side. Good. And then I'm going to show you what a split jerk looks like. So this one might be a little bit more familiar to you. So. And then from the side, good. So we're gonna break that again into a couple pieces. So basically we're gonna start like we've caught it in the clean. So you caught your clean, you stood it up, and now you need to get it overhead. So from here, I'm gonna actually bring my feet out, pointed out a little bit more than you probably are used to. So this just helps me not hinge forward as much in my um, dip. So if you'll notice, if my toes are straight, when I dip, I kind of hinge forwards a bit, and now I have to bring the bar out and up, which when it's super heavy, it's gonna be really challenging. We don't wanna make it any harder than it is. So if I bring my toes out, I actually am able to dip a little bit straighter down. So from here, bar would be on your collarbones. Elbows are just in front of the bar, toes are pointed out. From here, I'm gonna dip as I press up, the bar comes up and then I'm gonna drop underneath to catch it and then stand it up. So again, remembering that it's probably really heavy at this point. So you're dipping and trying to get it up as high as you can so you can drop underneath it and then stand it up, okay? So that's, a, that's the idea behind it. So that'd be a push jerk. To split jerk it, um, you're gonna choose whatever your dominant foot would be to lead. You can play around with it and just find what's more comfortable to you, but what it's again gonna look like feet, toes pointing out. From here, I'm gonna dip down. As I push up, I'm gonna split into a kind of a lunge position, but I'm not obviously having my back like touching the ground. Not very stable at all. I'm gonna reach forward with my uh, front foot so that it's fairly, um, my shin is fairly straight. Or, yeah, fairly straight. So from here, my foot, front foot comes back, back foot comes up, meet in the middle. So again, toes pointed out, dip, and jump and land. Front foot comes back, back foot, front foot, back foot. Good. So that's 
position. I'll show you again from the front. Toes pointed out. I'm going to dip and split. Front foot, back foot, front foot, back foot. All right. So hopefully that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, definitely let me know.